Hi everyone, this is Madhumita from Science Department. In our previous video, we have discussed about animal cell and its structure. In this video, we are going to discuss about one interesting thing. Do you know how cells are forming? Each and every cell, it forms from pre-existing cell. How is that possible? Okay, let me make that simple. Okay, we are starting our life as a single celled organism. How? That fertilized egg, it is made up of single cell, isn't it? So, from the single celled organism, now we are an adult with trillions and trillions of cells in us. How? That is because of a process called cell division. So, the single celled fertilized egg or else we can say that as zygote, it has become as a very big adult with trillions and trillions of cells in it. That is very interesting, isn't it? So, this process is called as cell division. About that we are going to discuss in this video. So, let's discuss. So, cell division is nothing but process by which the cells it just divide into two. One cell will divide into two, two into four, four into eight. Like that continuously the cell division has happened. Okay. It's of three kinds. The first one is binary fission. Second one mitosis. And third one is meiosis. Here the binary fission cell division mostly it happens in prokaryotic cells. What is called prokaryotic cells? The primitive cells like we can say that as bacteria as an example. So in those kind of uh, organism this binary fission has happened. Then other two like mitosis and meiosis it happens in the eukaryotic cells which means us humans animals other organism even plants okay everything comes under eukaryotic organism so first we are going to discuss about binary fission first we need to know the meaning of that so by by means two so fission means just dividing okay A one cell it just divide into two two equal same kind of Cells, it is being formed because of this process. So, the name of the process is binary fission. What actually happens in the bacterial's body while the binary fission happens? Now, this is the body of bacteria. So, if you see that, you can see the nuclear matter or DNA or its RNA, then centrioles are present, then inside you can see the ribosomes. Okay, so what actually happens while the binary fission starts, this DNA matter, it just start to replicate, which means it, it will copy themselves. Not only this DNA, but also the centrioles. Centrioles are very, very important for cell division. Because that is the uh, cell organelle which pull the nuclear matter in the opposite ends of the cell. This is very very important for the process called cell, cell division. Okay. Now the centrioles it just become duplicate. That also duplicate itself. Then next nuclear matter. Nuclear matter is also it just elongate in its size. It, it just make itself into one more copy. Okay, then both the matters it just drawn to each side of the cell that is because of the centrioles. Then the ribos ribosomes which is present in the cell it increases in its number and it equally go to the each side of the cell. Then the cell wall which starts to cleavage which means it start to divide. Okay, then at the end of it, we are getting two different cells. Okay, so this is how the binary fission happens. If you see the parent cell and daughter cell, it is exact copy of that. So all the cell matters, DNA, RNA, everything will be the same. It is an exact copy of the parent cell. 
So this is what happening during binary fission. So the, for example, we can say that E. coli, E. coli bacteria which is lives in our gut. Okay, this E. coli bacteria within 20 minutes, it just make its two copies. You just think of its uh, fast, how fast it can do this binary fission. But then in that case, in one day, how many bacteria, E. coli bacteria can be created, can be reproduced, isn't it? So in such a fast way it can do the reproduction with the help of the process called binary fission. So next we are going to discuss about mitosis. This mitosis and, and binary fission mostly it is same. So let's see about that. Now we are going to discuss about mitosis cell division. So before that, first we need to know there are two different kinds of cells are present in our body. So first is somatic cells. First kind of cell, it is called as somatic cells. It is also called as body cells. Then next, second one is gametes. Okay, the cells, second kind of cell is called as gametes and it is also called as sex cells. Okay, so uh, mostly the somatic cells, it is being divided only in the kind of mitosis, mitosis cell division. Let's see what else are happening in mitosis cell division. So first phase, it is called as interphase. Actually, before enter into the mitotic cell division, first the cell has to prepare itself. So that preparation phase, it is called as interphase. So during interphase, the cell replicates the chromosomes which has and also it replicates the centrosomes. So centrosome already I told it is very very important for cell division. Okay, so next chapter interphase complete. So during interphase, the replication of the chromosome and centrosome happens. Then it enter into the second phase that is called as prophase. So during prophase, uh, the chromosome previously it has been suspended very loosely in the nucleoplasm that come closer and it condenses. Okay, it becomes denser than before. So next, uh, the centrosome it produces spindle rays. So this spindle rays is helping in pulling the chromosome matters to the each side of the cell. So these two things will happen in prophase. Then come to the next phase that is pro-metaphase. During pro-metaphase there won't be any nuclear membrane. Totally the nuclear membrane it just is suspended. Then this uh, spindle uh, spindle rays it just is got to connect with the kinetochores. So the chromosome it just been attached with the Part, you can see at the center. At the center, you can see that that is called as kinetochores. So, this spindle rays directly attack, attached to the kinetochores. Then, next phase, it enters the next phase called metaphase. During metaphase, all the chromosome it just meet in the center of the cell. In the exact line. Same exact line. Okay. So, so this is... Metaphase. Now, after metaphase, it just to get into the next phase, it is called as anaphase. Okay. During anaphase, this centrosome, with the help of the spindle rays, it pulls the chromosome to the each side of the cell. So, this is what happened during anaphase. So, next stage, it is called as telophase. During telophase, the cleavage starts. The cell membrane it starts to elongate and it just produce a cleavage at the center of the cell. Now everything the nuclear matter and each and every cell organelle is it just is separated into two equal halves and it reaches two different cells. So as a result of mitosis one parent cell it just divide into two daughter cell that two it is exact copy of the parent cell. Now, let's see the overview what has happened in the mitosis cell division. So, 
This is parent cell. It contains 23 pairs of chromosome. So during that uh, interface, I told it will replicate. It will form the exact copy of those chromosomes. Okay. So it replicates and it forms totally 46 pairs of chromosome. Then after all these phases completes, it forms two daughter cell with 23, 23 pairs of chromosome. So it totally looks like exactly as a parent cell. So this kind of cell division, it is called as mitotic cell division. Mostly it happens in the somatic cells. What is called somatic cells? That is our body cells. So mostly the body cell, it should be the same. There should not be any change in chromosome. So in those kind of cells, this mitotic cell division happens. So next kind of cell division that we are going to discuss is meiosis. So this meiosis actually happens in the sex cells or else we can call that as gametes. Let's see that. So now we are going to discuss about one more kind of cell division. It is called as meiosis. So during meiosis, all the other things are same as mitosis. Only slight differences. Uh, while I explain, I will denote those differences. So first one is interface. So before the cell get into the cell division, it go through interface. It has to prepare itself. So what will happen during interface? Everything it just get duplicate. What is the meaning of that? So for example, if a particular cell has 46 uh, chromosome, which means 23 pairs of chromosome, it just become as twice, like 46 pairs of chromosomes. Then it get into the first phase, it is called as prophase 1. See, it, here the prophase 1 in meiosis, it is totally different from uh, the prophase which has happened in mitosis. Here, the synapses, the process called synapses happen. What is called synapses? The father chromosome, the chromosome that we have received from our father and the chromosome that we have received from our mother, it just come closer and have a very tight bondage. So after that, only one arm of that chromosome, it just overlap with each other. So while it overlap, it switches, which, which swaps the chromatic matters which is present in that arms. So as a result of that, we are getting new kind of chromosome. Why actually it has happened? Because the offspring should have the father's quality and also the mother's quality. So that's why all these characters it just is switching over. So next it just get into the next phase it is called as metaphase. So we know that during metaphase the spindle race has been formed and it just attached with the kinetochores which is at the center of the chromosome. Okay, next anaphase 1. So here in anaphase 1, every chromosome, it has been pulled to the end of the cells. Okay, each end of the cell. Then last one is telophase. So during this telophase, what actually happens? The cleavage starts to form. The one cell is just equally divided into two. Okay, so all these uh, first phase completed as a result of that two equal kind of cells we are getting. So one cell, it will become uh, two cells and it has 23 pairs of chromosome. Then again, it will go through the second phase. Here in second prophase, there is no uh, much difference. There is no overlaps and all and one more thing there is no interface at all okay what is interface we know that everything will get duplicate here nothing will happen like that only that 23 pairs of chromosome it just to get into the cell division okay so while the prophase 2 what actually happens there is no uh, overlaps and everything uh, just the chromosome it just pulled into the equal sides. It, it has become dense and it just start to move towards the 
each side of the cell. Then here in metaphase 2, the spindle rays, it just start to pull that and all the chromosome, it just meet at the center in the same line. Okay, next anaphase 2. In anaphase 2, the chromosome, it just pulled to the edges of the cell. Then in telophase 2, then this two cell, it just become four. The cleavage, it starts to form. Then, yes, of course, it becomes two different cells. So, this is the overview of meiosis cell division. Now, see here, I told about the first phase, isn't it? In the first phase, no, nothing much has happened. The 23 pairs of chromosome has become 46. Then it has divided into two. Just to prophase one in that the genetic changes alone has happened in the first phase. Then this two pairs, which means which contains 23 pairs of chromosome, furtherly it just get into the cell division and it forms only 23 chrom chromosomes. Why? Why it has happened like that? Because we know that during fertilization, the male cell, it just fertilized with the female cell. cell. While it do like that, this 23 chromosome plus the another 23 chromosome which makes a pair of 23 pairs of chromosome. Okay, so that's why if you see in the gamut cells, cell division has happened. Why? To reduce the number of chromosome. If for, for example, uh, just think of it, there is no cell uh, chromosome reduction at all. Only the same 23 pairs are present here. What will happen? The gamut, which means ovum also if it contains 23 pairs. Then the sperm also if it contains 23 pairs. Then the offspring or else zygote which has been produ produced. How many pairs it, ha it has? Totally 46 pairs. Then think about the offspring. It will definitely like a mutant. Okay, so that's why during meiosis, this reduction cell division happens. So, up to this, we have discussed about three different kinds of cell division. That is binary fission, mitosis and meiosis. In our next video, we will discuss about different kinds of tissue in animal body. Thank you.